there's something I want to say to start. The years are more important than the money because the money might actually get a little crazy. Uh, according to uh, Wojnarowski of Yahoo Sports, he's saying that J.J. Redick is meeting with the 76ers. Um, and Keith Smith, I'm not sure who Keith Smith is, but Keith Smith of FanRag Sports, I guess, he's saying that uh, league, the league expects uh, Redick to get, what is it, $25 million a season on a one- to two-year deal. Uh, now, as long as Redick would be out of here before, uh, obviously, Ben Simmons and Markel Fultz get their extensions, then, you know, that's really all, all the Sixers need. I mean, obviously, it would, it would fill a need to get Redick. Now, some names are already gone. Patty Mills has already agreed to a four-year, $50 million extension with the Spurs. Uh, but the Sixers, I mean, a guy like Redick, you're looking at, you know, you only want him here for two years basically. Now, $25 million is a very, very steep price. But again, it's not like the Sixers are cash strapped. They have money to spend. If, if they were in a situation like the Eagles or something like something crazy where they had to trade somebody for Redick or, you know, whatever to free up the space, no, obviously you're not doing this. But the Sixers are in a position uh, to sign Redick. Now, another possibility that I would like the Sixers to explore is trading for Danny Green. I think that would be a tremendous idea. I believe he's making $10 million a season. So obviously doing something like that, uh, I believe he has two years left on his deal. So if you're doing the two-year thing, that would be perfect for a guy like him. Uh, but for Redick, I mean, he's going to look for years and money. He wants stability and he wants you know stability throughout a couple years. But if he's going to get $25 million a season, then from his perspective, well, it might be okay to do a two-year deal for $50 million. Now, I, I don't really uh, believe the legitimacy of that Keith Smith report of, of $25 million, but you know we'll see. We'll see if it's something crazy. If he gets $20 million and then two years for 40, I think that's more realistic, but we'll see what the price tag is. I mean, uh, let's see, what were some of these earlier deals already? Jeff T got three for 55, four for 50. Um, I mean, that was about expected. Uh, and I expected him to stay with San Antonio. And, and you figured a guy like him at 28 years old, he was going to get more years. I mean, I know that was a popular name that people in Philadelphia liked. Um, but he's already gone. He's off the board. We'll see about Redick. Uh, but he's meeting with the Sixers right now. And if they sign him, uh, we'll, we'll see what the years are. Um, I, I'm sure there's some people that wouldn't like uh, a Redick signing, especially for that kind of money. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I, I think he would be a perfect fit as a shooter for the Sixers, considering you have Ben Simmons and Markel Fultz. You got the drive and kick. Uh, Redick, the last three years playing with a guy like Chris Paul, you want to talk about playing with a great point guard. Uh, so, last three years in LA, 15.8 points per game, and he shot over 46% from three uh, playing with Chris Paul. So, Redick, great at the trail threes, great at the catch and shoot. And I, you know, I think Patty Mills is a better basketball player than J.J. Redick, but J.J. Redick is a better shooter. And I think for this team, Redick would be a perfect fit for two seasons, for two seasons, mind you, and then he's gone. And I would, I, I would be okay with that because of the money that they have. They are not in a cash trap situation. Again, the years are more important than the money. The money might look crazy. It might look scary. But, uh, you know, the Sixers have a lot of it to spend. they got to get to the cap floor. I mean, the other rumor I saw today was uh, for Amir Johnson, they would sign. Ew, that would be terrible. Yuck. Amir Johnson, that would be awful. So, uh, yeah, and, and by the way, I don't know what Danny Ainge is doing. Uh, you know, it's crazy, these trades, you know. So Paul George gets traded for players. You know, it's like Danny Ainge gets the picks and he gets the assets. And all these guys that are getting traded right now are, are being uh, shipped away for players. And, and Ainge is getting these picks and he's not doing anything with them. And wow, apparently Terry Rozier was the final piece. And Danny Ainge thought it was too much. Wow. We will never know what the deal was or what the other deals were, but... Whew. Damanis Sabonis and Victor Oladipo, and Oladipo on a big contract. Going to Indiana. Mm. 
Paul George and, and Russell Westbrook. Now, how awesome would that be if OKC beat Golden State? Not going to happen probably, but I mean, I would freaking I would freaking love that to be honest with you. <laughs> Not going to lie, just to rub it into Katie's face, especially the way he's going right now. That cocky son of a bitch, you know. Uh, but I'll tell you, he, he is right about the Fed's nickname. Nickname is trash. But the players, holy, they are holy players. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, I got nothing else. I know it's late, so I'm not I'm not trying to talk too loud. I'm also doing this, this on the laptop. So let me see if I got some comments. Hold on. So I'm going to pull this up real quick. But, man. So, oh, also the other, there's another report I saw. Hold on. I mean, Danny Ainge is also going to leak out a lot of bullshit right now. So there might be some reports that you see that aren't true. Danny Lee Ainge is just trying to make himself save face because he looks like a complete moron right now. I don't know what it was. Was it a Woj report? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to look at it. Uh, where are the comments? All right, here we go. Uh, Bolts and Reddit go around. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, why not spend the cap if they have it? Oh, that MB tweet was tremendous. Oh, the MB tweet was awesome. Oh, he's he's such a troll, and I love it. I I, I love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bat for him every single time. I don't care, except for the Fed's nickname. That's the only time I disagree with him. But yeah, uh, there was there was what was it I saw? I saw like there's uh, the top 14 players. Out of the top 14 players, 13 of them are in the West. So the East is wide open. <laughs> and Danny Ainge is being a freaking moron. He's being a complete idiot. So if hey, if you don't want to do anything, I mean. It's fine. We'll see about Hayward. I, I would I would laugh if he signed with Miami. That would be absolutely tremendous. <laughs> so uh, let's let's hope for that. But I do think Hayward is going to go to Boston. So the Bulls and the Pacers. Yeah, it's two playoff spots right over. I mean, dude, I, I think you know I, I know I know a lot of people. You know, you want to see the product first, and you know you want you want to actually see guys healthy. But even if like Embiid were to admit, I. I, I'm not going to like. I don't even want to talk about this. But like, say he misses half the season. Even if you have Fultz and Simmons for a year, I, why couldn't they make the eight, the eight seed? Why couldn't they? Why not? That's you know why not? Especially now you're going to have you have pieces surrounding these guys. Darius Sarge entering his second season, coming off a great rookie season, should have won Rookie of the Year. Ha <laughs> ha. Right? Uh, except I would have given it to Embiid. I don't care. But you know he has Covington as a wing defender. I mean, TLC is, is starting to come along. You're going to have Fur, Furcon coming over. It's exciting now, you know? It's getting there. It's getting there. And I don't care. If you want to hop on the bandwagon, it's okay. I love it. I love it when the Wells Fargo Center is freaking raucous. I love it. So I remember going to games, it was empty. It sucked. It's terrible. Let's get that thing rocking again. Let's keep these guys healthy, too. That's what I got to say about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I do think that Fultz and Simmons are going to be good right away because they just have a feel for the game. They, they play older than what they are. You know, they, they already have this knack of how to play the game, especially if you watch Fultz, the way he can, you know, change his pace and the way he dribbles the ball, the way he can pull up in the mid-range and just get to his spots whenever he really feels like it. He gets to it effortlessly. Uh, so he, he's so smooth out there. And and Ben, I mean, the way he plays, I mean, he's ambidextrous. He brings something new to the NBA. I mean, if you look, even at that dunk, I mean, like, he's throwing the ball with his right hand and then he's catching the lob with his left and it's clean as hell. It's, it's freaking amazing. It's so smooth. And, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to see him because uh, he's going to be catching rebounds. And he's going to be pushing the pace. You're going to have Redick trailing, knocking down threes. He's a perfect fit here. 
So how would you feel about Serge Ibaka coming to Philly? I mean, uh, we talked about that in the preview show. Uh, I mean, I think he'd be a fit, but I, I don't know if, like, I don't know if he'd come here for the years. And I don't know. I don't know if he would come here. You, you would probably have to overpay for a guy like that because he's going to want to be on a contender. So, all right. It's late, so I'll end this now. But, um, yeah, just, you know, just an update on reports and stuff like that. So, jeez, Sixers. I've been saying, man, like, I don't see why they shouldn't be a four or five seed. Even if Simmons and Fultz play and not Embiid, I could see that. I don't care. East is terrible. It's awful. It's not the West. It isn't. The East is gettable, I'm telling you guys. So, any Eagles thoughts? Uh, I'm probably going to do a video tomorrow on – it's like it's, it's going to be a combination on Nelson Aguilar and DGB. And just to tease it just for a second, Nelson Aguilar has done everything right so far. DGB has done everything wrong. He is out, Nelson Aguilar. You keep proving it, okay? But you still haven't proven it yet, though. Like you gotta understand that you gotta understand, Nelson. You have to do this for a whole season. But if you do this for a whole season, okay, then you start getting into my good graces. But until then, keep at it. It's not like I don't want to see you succeed, you know. Hicks hand injury. I mean, he'll he'll be back in time. I mean, like. He's going to be out for a couple weeks. Uh, you know, even if he misses some training camp, you know, so what? Like, he's one of the best young linebackers in the game. He knows what he's doing out there. He'll be ready for the season. So, um, yeah. DGB's gone. Season's real. <laughs> thoughts, thoughts on Marcus Johnson? I mean, he's, he's the name to watch in the preseason uh, as a guy to emerge potentially if Shelton Gibson really is struggling, like the reports are saying. Uh, maybe he nabs that sixth and final wide receiver spot. You know, from what I'm hearing, I'm hearing positive things at OTAs, but again, that's just OTAs. They're just in gym shorts and they're not in pads yet. So I really don't care too much, but, you know, we'll see. He's a name to keep out for. It really is hard not to like what he's doing. Like, uh, let me, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll get it more into it tomorrow because it's, you know, it's, he is going about it the right way. So I'll, do, I'll just save that for tomorrow. You guys will like this video. So, yeah. All right. So, again, the lesson here for J.J. Redick, the years are more important than the money. As long as J.J. Redick is gone before Ben Simmons and Markel Fultz get their contracts, it really doesn't matter what the money is. But, you know, obviously, uh, I, I would love it. I don't know if it's possible, but I would love it. Redick trade for Danny Green. I don't know if it'll happen, but if, if they do that, that would be a tremendous offseason to surround shooters with Fultz, with Simmons. We'll see what Korkmaz can do. I know he's only 19, so like my expectations aren't going to be too high. But uh, you know, obviously, an interesting piece moving forward. A guy that's six seven that can shoot it. So we'll see, and and more athletic than you know you might think. And dunk champ. It's pretty crazy. Not too many people know about that. So he's got this reputation as a shooter. We want a, you know, a dunk contest. So yeah. exciting things in store with the Sixers, and we'll see what happens when I wake up. Uh, Redick might officially be a Sixer. We shall see. But as for right now, uh, they're just meeting. Just for right now. So I'm out.